Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns summary discussion. So today, this morning, we got one new summary and three new titles regarding episodes 48 to 51. I will link the article down below in the description in case you want to check it out for yourself. And a big thank you to DMC for translating all of this. So without further ado, we are going to begin. Let's see the first uh, five episodes, really, of season two. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, episode 47, we already knew. I'm not going to read that summary again, but we do now know that Yoshida is doing the script along with No Gilbo, who is doing the animation. And No Gilbo is obviously one of the better animators they have. So, that's probably why 47 looked very aesthetically pleasing in the preview and it probably is going to be a very aesthetically pleasing episode so that'll be really cool that's pretty much the only new information we got on 47 so let's get to episode 48 the arrow of judgment playmaker chases after the mysterious individual who attacked Jin and challenges him to a duel However, he has a hard time trying to deal with the mysterious man's never-before-seen cards. In order to achieve victory, Playmaker uses the new card he received from I to counter attack. Then we have the 49, 50, and 51, only their titles, which is really a shame. It would have been great to get um, some actual summaries. But here we go. 49 is the Duelist Clad in Flames. Episode 50, The Transfer Student, Homura Takeru. And episode 51 is The Man Who Cast Away Charisma. So, in interesting, I guess, first of all, there were a lot of people who, well, not a lot of people, but there were some people who noticed that Soul Burner or Homura's name was not on the 47 cast list. And they thought that was kind of strange. But I said, I guarantee you, he will debut before episode 50. I'd be very surprised. If he didn't, given the fact that he was the first character they advertised in the new Season 2 character list. And there we go. At the very least, we can guarantee that we will see him in Episode 50. So that is awesome. So you really, the heavy Soul Burner fans, you do not have to wait too much longer to see him in action. Um, but starting with 48, since that's obviously the biggest chunk of data that we have with the actual summary. 48, it's, it's interesting because... I'd imagine that this is Bowman. I'd imagine that this is going to be Playmaker versus Bowman, considering, and my basis for that is Bowman's name were, were question marks on the cast list, as if he's going to be this mysterious duelist. And literally, it says Playmaker chases after the mysterious individual who attacked Jin. Now, Jin is not speaking in 47. He could still show up. The scream could be from Jin Kusanagi, and Playmaker will go and find Jin attacked and then he chases after a guy that just attacked him why someone is attacking Jin who seems to be a complete shell of a person based on the flashbacks that we've gotten I'm not quite sure maybe those were flashback scenes of not the current day but the like past five years or so and now he's actually starting to get his life back together or this is an individual who attacked him years ago and, or months ago, and Playmaker is just finding that out about that now. There also could be a bit of a time skip. We don't know. There might be a bit of a time skip, but that's interesting. And I'm basing that scream off the preview for 47, where it says there was a mysterious scream in Link Vrains. I believe that's what it said. And Playmaker went to investigate the incident. And you can actually see a duelist with, like, a mask on in the preview. I'd imagine that's Bowman. It also could be just a random character. It could be also a duel monster. It also could be... Brad Shepard, who was on the 47 cast list, he's a new character as well. But the fact they didn't really advertise him during the uh, during the the spoilers for season two characters makes me think he's not going to be too important of a character, at least for now. He also wasn't part of the season two cast list, so I, I don't think that um, he's going to be that big of a character. So I think 48 is going to be Playmaker versus Bowman. Why Bowman attack Jin? Could he have been after Jin's Ignis or Jin's data for whatever reason? I guess that could have been a reason. It doesn't seem like Jin has his Ignis, though, based on, again, the flashback. All we know about Jin is he's just been in this dark room in, like, the fetal positions, laying, sitting down. He doesn't seem like a character you would gain any, <laughs> any like, promise in from attacking, but maybe this was something that happened in the past when he was 
more of a a prominent like important driven character i don't want to say important character because he still is i feel a very important character but it's cool that he is going to be incorporated in this also to see how kusanagi will react will be very interesting it would be nice to see kusanagi get his hands dirty if this was maybe a kusanagi duel but it is a playmaker duel and if nothing's on the line, keep in mind the last line, in order, to ach- in order to achieve victory, Playmaker uses the new card he received from I to counterattack. Does that mean that I is back in the picture like we all figured he would be? That'd be pretty quick because obviously Yusaku let him go at the end of 46. But there is a chance, I guess, that I will be back in the picture. And is that new card Cybers? Magician. Remember, episode 48 is going to air April 18th. I believe Cybernetic Horizon comes out April 15th. So literally the next episode after the pack gets released to use the cover card, it would make a lot of sense. So that very well could be where we finally see a ritual and where we see Cyber's Magician. But I was pretty confident we would see it in the Revolver Duel. We did not. So I'm not getting ahead of myself with this. We'll just have to wait and see. This could be... If the stakes are not that high and he's just chasing after a guy and dueling him and he's struggling against him, this also, let's not overlook never before seen cards. What if this guy is going to use like synchros or XZs or fusions? Again, I don't want to excite people, but I feel like, of course, it could just be an archetype he's never seen before, but I feel like I might be overlooking that and I feel like a few people might be overlooking that. Again, I don't want to draw unnecessary hype. But that's just very interestingly worded. Never before seen cards. And it's a mysterious individual who seems like he could be from a different area. If this guy uses XZs or synchros, that'd be a perfect time for a playmaker to lose. It's not like every duel in season one, if he lost, he was going to lose Ignis. He was going to lose I. If I is not around for the time being... It's the perfect chance for Playmaker to lose to a Synchro user or an XZ user or just a duelist in general. And that is something that I would love to see happen. I think we all want to see Playmaker, you know, get defeated. I love his character, but a defeat, not only would it be shocking, but it would, you know, legitify anyone who defeats him immediately. And it would be interesting to see how his character develops and grows from that perspective, uh, from that defeat. So hopefully he does get defeated at some point. We'll just have to keep an eye on that and see. But very excited for 48. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Playmaker vs. Bowman. We will have to see. Then we have episode 49, The Duelist Clad in Flames. Flame is the name of Homura's Eye, of Homura's Ignis. So, uh, right, not Eye, Homura's Ignis. So there is a chance that Homura is going to debut in 49. And how cool would it be if Soul Burner chases this guy down because he has a connection to Jin as well. Remember, they were all victims of the lost incident, and he might know that. Playmaker loses in 48, Soul Burner chases this guy down and avenges Playmaker and defeats Bowman or defeats this mysterious duelist. The mysterious duelist flees, and then, you know, we move on from there. Oh my god, I am just noticing that the storyboard is being done by Katsumi Ono. How the hell did I not notice that before? Jesus, Katsumi Ono is the man who did the storyboard for the entirety of 5Ds and for Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. And I know he did the... I'm pretty sure he did the storyboard for the second ending, but that's all he's had to do with Yu-Gi-Oh! Wow, that is... I did not see that coming. Unless that's a different Katsumi Ono, but I doubt it is. Wow, so Katsumi Ono is going to be working on (laughs) on Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, and he is going to be the storyboard lead for episode 49. That's crazy. I mean, we knew Katsumi Ono and Yoshida had a had a working relationship and a pretty good relationship because they're doing a show together where Yoshida is the main script writer and Katsumi Ono is the main st- director. But that is... Wow, that's crazy. So Katsumi Ono is back. Uh, I, I'm going to say that's a good thing, hopefully. Yoshida is writing 47 and 50. Oh, that's, that is surprising. I definitely... Did not see, <laughs> did not see that coming. I that's why I never really read the names because the names usually don't ring a bell to me. But I'm in the middle of analyzing 49 and I'm just looking at the four names and I see Katsumi Ono. I'm like, wait a second, I know that name. Well, that is that is crazy. So Katsumi Ono is back. That is, I did not see that coming. But anyway, we could see the debut of Soul Burner in 49 and then more formally Homura in episode 50 and then episode 51. This is an interesting title, The Man Who Cast Away Charisma. I can't be the only one who immediately thought Go Onizuka. Go is a character who 
is a charisma duelist who was the top charisma duelist for a while. And during his the last time we saw him, which was his duel against Revolver, he said some pretty, I thought, and I think a lot of people thought, uncharacteristic lines. One of the lines was him saying, you know, I don't care about entertaining anymore. I only care about results. It was something along those lines. And that was very weird for him. He was like, I don't care about my audience. So I wonder if Go is going to have a bit of a an inner struggle. And maybe that's why we see him in the 47 preview burst into Akira's office, where it seems like he's going to try to demand something from Akira. I wonder if Go is going to become maybe a bit of a villain. And maybe that duel where he became a quote-unquote heel was a bit of foreshadowing for him actually becoming a bit of an anti-hero character and not really that entertaining character anymore. And he's going to maybe go through an interpersonal struggle. And honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to that. I feel like Go is a character who gets overlooked by a lot of people. There are some people who love him, and I'm, I want to, you know, I, I like him. I think there's definitely potential there. But for him to go through that kind of arc where because he lost and because he got kind of knocked off his pedestal a little bit by Playmaker and then by Revolver, and he goes through this kind of, you know, change of heart character persona where now all he cares about are results, all he cares about is being the best and winning and not entertaining the crowd anymore, which would make sense to this episode 51 title. There could be a link there between Go and what's going to happen in 51. I think that's very, very interesting. So, ladies and gentlemen, a lot to look forward to here. We are kicking off Season 2 of Reigns with a bang. It would be great to know 4950 and 51's summaries, but hey, there's still a lot to speculate and a lot that we can speculate based off the titles, and hopefully you guys will speculate down below in the comment section. I'm going to cut myself off here, but guys, please let me know all your thoughts. Let me know who you think this mysterious duelist in 48 is going to be, if you think it's going to be Bowman or maybe someone else. Let me know what card do you think Playmaker is going to use? Is it going to be another you know, d talker monster from Ignis, from I, or is it going to maybe be Cyber's Magician? And then let me know what you want to see from all these characters in Season 2. Blue Angel, Homura, where is Revolver? Obviously, Revolver is not going to appear anytime soon. Uh, we have a new opening and ending starting literally in five days, which is awesome. Opening two and ending three. And if you don't know, opening two is being done by Kimeru, the same guy who did opening five of Duel Monsters. If you're unfamiliar with that opening, I definitely suggest you listen to it because it probably will sound very similar. Then again, it has been about 14 years, so his voice might be a little different, uh, but that is the same guy. And Overlap, which is opening five, is considered by many to be one of the best openings in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, again, going to end the video right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I hope the discussion was fun. Leave all your thoughts down below. I will continue this discussion with you down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And I hope you have an amazing day.